What I have here is another small motor that I took out from my Epson printer. This one is a DC motor. And I'm trying to see what kind of voltage I can get out of this. Apparently it's a very high RPM motor. So it needs to be turning very fast. But I was thinking just using this motor to charge a small maybe a set of double A batteries in parallel. So I would need no more than 1.6 volts or so. I would have to get a small dial and I just happen to have a Schottky dial that I can use also taken out from the Epson printer. Actually I tested it before and I was getting about 1.5 volt and you see the shape of these blades that I just made for testing purpose. When I flatten the, the blades it goes a little bit faster so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flatten it some more than before. Okay let's try it. Of course I can gear it up but that complicates the process. You would have to engineer quite a bit more. Right now it's going up to 1.73 volts. So I modify the blades a little bit making it a bit more aerodynamic. And the voltage has gone up. Three volts. Three point seven. Three point nine. Four volts. Making the blades more aerodynamic, more airfoil shape does help. The voltage went up from 2 volts to 4 volts. So this is how it looks. Maybe if I make the blades thinner, it would help. Maybe I cut off this part here, that would help too, I'm sure.